Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another monster video. So in today's video, I'm back with another monster review. And I had an option between Jellymer, I think that's his name, right? The, the new PvP monster. I had an option between that or review the uh, Golden Legends Pass monster. So I went with the Golden Legends Pass monster because I've already done my analysis on the PvP monster. Although m there is a high chance that I'm actually going to do a review on that. If you guys want to see that, make sure to drop a like and let me know. But today I wanted to do a review on the Golden Legends Pass monster. So I hope you're all excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, it's going to get started. So huge thanks to Bunky for letting me borrow her account to review this monster for you guys. Um, she gave me permission to actually spend gems to, you know, towards ranking the monster up, hatching it and all that other stuff. So huge thanks to her. She's technically sponsoring this video. So anyways, let's go ahead and see what this monster is all about. And I'm going to let you guys know if it's actually good, if it's actually worth spending the 20 bucks on, you know what I mean? So you, you will see after today's video, if it's actually worth spending the 20 bucks and this monster has some nice traits. I do like the traits on this monster. You get that immune to control. You get that resurrection block immune to torture. Now I'm not sure if immune to torture is to everybody. It doesn't mention like a status caster or something. Normally they do that with, with the other monsters. Like for example, the monster Nerida, right? From whatever era this was blossom. Let's see. Does it say status caster here? Oh yeah, it does. So the torture immunity is actually to uh, just herself, unfortunately, which is, is all right. Um, at least it's not, you know, at, at least it's there. Let's just say that, you know what I mean? At least she has that for herself. I mean, imagine if it was like immune to stun or immune to poison. Imagine, imagine immune to poison. I've seen that so many times recently and it's, it's just, it's just bugging me, honestly. I don't, I don't like it. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and feed it up, get it to 100 real quick, just like this, eight, nine, and finally 100. And I'm not sure if she actually has enough cells, does she? She actually does, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and rake this monster up. Uh, here we go, that's the resurrection block. Resurrection block's very important for this monster. Uh, I'll let you guys know in a second why, but I mean, it's kind of common base, like it's it's common sense, right? At, at this at this point, I feel like for, for this monster, right? For any monster really, having resurrection block. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get it to 130 real quick though. Here we go, fitting it up, two, and finally three. So here it is, here are the stats. You get about 25,956 power. You don't have to worry about the power, it's not an attacker. Uh, 716,617. Wait, that's cool, that's that's really cool. That's actually my first time seeing this. Like, it's literally 716, but in it, like backwards. You see that? 716, 617, you know what I mean? 716, 716, that's cool. Um, but anyways, 16,422 speed. I wonder if they actually did that on purpose. But anyways, let's go ahead. Uh, Trade-wise, I like it. Although it could have been better with that a uh, we immune to torture. But I, I really like the resurrection block. Unfortunately, it is a nature monster. But that's not going to stop us. Let's see what this monster has to offer. Removes all control status effects from all allies. Heals all allies by 30%. Blocks 50% of income damage towards all allies. That's really good. All right. Low magic damage and applies curse. Come on. Did you really just have to hit us with that? When you literally just give us such a nice skill, you just had to hit us with that. Ruins all your from one ally and heals one. Okay, that's not bad. Although I would have taken an AOE uh, NER, but okay. Heavy magic damage to one enemy and applies curse and stamina leak. Uh, blocks at 50% of the damage, heals all allies by 30%. Low magic damage and applies stamina leak. Here's what I would do. If I were you, I'm going to I'm gonna run this. If, 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 if those of you guys watching, here's what you should do. Um, you can run the either the single target or the AOE. It's up to you. Um, but I'm running this monster more of a supporter than than anything else, like a torturer, for example. If you want to keep the AOE curse, you can. This is also nice because it comes with stamina leak, so it's up to you. This one's optional, I feel like. But here are the four best skills, in my opinion, for this monster. Uh, stamina wise, it is somewhat moderate to to slightly high, uh, especially this one right here which is one of her best skills in my opinion. But besides that, uh, cooldown wise, it's moderate to low, not bad. Let's take a look at the ultimate. Rooms on League of Six from all allies, applies evasion to all allies, and heals all allies by 100% and double damage. That's really good ultimate. That's like one of the best support um, ultimates in my opinion. That's really good. The fact that it NERs, heals, applies evasion and double damage, that is just like a cherry on top. So anyways, guys, so like I mentioned earlier, why resurrection block? So blocks all resurrection skills, right? So let's say if you were to face Ural, which you most likely will on PvP, there's Ural. There's also, uh, what other resurrections are there? A Skeletron, if I don't know if anybody still uses a Skeletron, but Skelly's there. Uh, there none of the Ancestrals really can resurrect, but there are some other resurrection monsters that can't think of at the moment but i know a lot of players are using like ural not on pvp specifically but on um which you might call it like team wars and stuff like that there are 
there are resurrectors being used so this monster is really good to like counter that you know what i mean uh as long as this monster does not get trade disabled they cannot uh, resurrect either trade disabled or obviously uh they have to eliminate this monster fully um right now nobody's really using euro Lycee on on pvp which i understand because there's a lot of other meta monsters there it is there's one so if you want to go ahead and counter that resurrection once you get rid of this monster he's gone for good then go ahead and use this monster against it um, so not bad for PvP, especially Team Wars. I feel like this monster is going to be used on, P on Team Wars too much, like a lot. Um, I can see it already. Let's take a look at the Relic slots. Uh, I really like the Relic slots. Man, so for Relic slots, what I would highly recommend doing is giving in something that will regenerate your stamina. So uh, Merc Staff, you could do, you know, you could run that. That gives you stamina and also uh, applies Nightmares while it deals water damage. For the trap, you can do, for example, like Underworld Trap or something, or Volcanic Trap or something like that. If you have something like that, run it. Um, vice versa, so if you want to do Slumster Trap for here and then go with something here that sta that like drains stamina, you can do that. So, so for example, uh, let me see. I know there's one. Like, for example, Secret Staff. You can run Secret Staff. Or you could even do Sea uh, Old Guard Staff. That also works out. There's also this one right here, the Lutean Staff, if you want to run that one. But I really like my Merc Staff, so let me, let me just run that. Um, but anyways... So, without further ado, is he worth it? All right, that's all you guys want to know, right? Is this monster worth it? I would say so, yes. Yes, this monster is actually worth it. Is this a level 12? Oh my gosh. Do I want to give it a level 12? Nah, it's not my account. It is not my account, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, is he worth giving level 12 is the question. Um, He's not insanely good. He is good. He's a good supporter, don't get me wrong. But like, insanely good? I feel like... That's just dragging it you know what i mean the monster is good all right like i said don't get me wrong the monster is good but don't drag it don't say that this is like one of the most op monsters or something because obviously it's not um it's just a good monster to have uh, to like invest in obviously so let me go ahead and obviously use this mythic we're gonna do nature um for for pvp i'm not sure if it's a good idea to run it on pvp because of the nature element you're gonna still see a lot of serpentics and other monsters obviously there is better um there's better pierce monsters now like for example the one we see right here uh but just saying um so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do actually this sword i like a lot more um you can give triple speed if you want or you can do triple team speed just mess around with speed and team speed was what i'm trying to tell you guys all right that's what's going to work for this monster either speed or team speed so mess around with that but let's go ahead and get into a pvp match real quick and see how this goes so first battle we're going up against well none none, none of these guys can really resurrect so it's fine um so here's the thing remove all control status effects that's really not a control that's more of a negative status effect um Runes on Legacy Effect and kills one by 50% or you could just heal everybody. I think I'm going to do NER to one monster and that's going to be obviously my attacker because that's very important. So I don't want my monster to die here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and OTK that monster, get rid of it. And once he's dead, he should be dead dead. Nope, he is alive. Now he's dead dead. Okay, cool. Dang, that dealt 210k damage and it's just an AoE, sk uh, AoE skill. And this monster doesn't have any strength runes, does he? He doesn't, that's crazy. All right, um, brutal control status, like, that won't work out. Will it? There's only one way to find out. I don't think it will, but I just want to double check. No, it doesn't. Okay. But it did, it did heal. I like that. I like the fact that it healed, obviously. Um, evasion, obviously, we can't pierce through that. Let's deal the insane metal damage. Get rid of that monster. And we'll go ahead and get rid of you fully. And that was just this monster, unfortunately. Like I said... Uh, the only way to really battle the negative status effect or the cur curse countdown. First of all, don't go up against it, obviously. I think this monster is dead, so before it dies, can I do anything? Nope, not really. If I do this, it's not going to deal any damage. The monster's dead, unfortunately. Oh, that sucks. Uh, let's get an F in the chat. <laughs> go ahead and comment it, guys. Alright, Ancestors Awakened. Thank you before you died. Give me that at least. Oh, take it back. Oh no, you have evasion. Nice. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he's running the avatar too. Look at that. This player's running the avatar. All right. So 10 victory token. We'll go ahead and take it. Um, how many tokens do you have right now? 170? Oh, wow. You already got the uh, contest token. That's cool. Um, make, make sure to watch out. Um, watch for my video, guys. Uh, if you guys haven't watched the video on the uh, like three best PvP setups, I guess, or the best free-to-play setups for PvP to get yourself that token, make sure to check it out. 
Um, so we can do damage selection right now if you want to. Um, or we can do curse everybody if we want. Let's mess around with that. Let's do the curse because Merc Staff is also going to kick in, which is pretty sweet. Um, and with that being said, let me do this so that way... Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage. It's all right. You guys are dead. Both of you guys are dead. So you're going to come back. Both of you. You're both dead again. And it's just Volcanics to worry about now. And Volcanics not bad. So we can, we can take care of Volcanics easily. Um, I, wonder, I really want to go up against Zero because I want to see... Like, it's so funny because you won't be able to do anything. Oh, we get our ultimate. Look at this. This ultimate is so nice. Remove all negative status effect. Give evasion. Give double damage. Like, that's so OP. If you, if you pair that up with the pierced monster, like, for example, uh, what we have here, this is insane. Like, boom, take this. Two million damage. Like, you can't do anything against it. Unless, obviously, you can PR it. If you if the monster could, they, if they have a PR skill available and they use it, obviously. But if you have, like, a Megaton protecting you plus the enemy can PR it is super OP I feel like uh especially on a like a pierce monster on the side that's pretty sweet uh but I want to see if uh, anybody here has a Ural on their defense that player is not running it this player is running all commons that's a troll that player is not running it uh what about you oh here it is I hope he's still running that Ural on on, on defense please tell me he is sucks I don't want to exit it because that's gonna make Bunky lose trophies but anyways Remove all control status, like damage section, heals all allies. We don't, we, we don't have to do much. Like I said, it just mess around with speed and team speed for this monster. That's all. That's all you really have to do for this monster. Really, he doesn't need anything else besides speed and team speed. Maybe team life, sure. That'd be team life and maybe life mutated with speed. You know what I mean? Sure. But that's about it. Don't go anywhere else with that. Anyways, boom, take that and the monster's out. So yeah. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't really match a uh, Ural here on PvP, but I really wanted to showcase that uh, block resurrection for this monster because, again, that block resurrection ca can come in handy, and it's really nice, especially for team wards. Uh, I feel like that, that'd be really nice, but yeah, nobody's really running it here that we're, we're going up against, obviously. Uh, so you could do something like that for fun if you want to, but other than that, boom, it's just easy peasy, lemon squeezy, monster's dead, boom, take that down, and it's all done. Okay, cool. So... Yeah, this monster's cool. It's cool. Um, you should you should definitely pick it up. I feel like it's worth it. It's worth picking up the twenty bucks because not only you're getting this monster to rank three. You know what I mean? Uh, it's a good investment for the long run, but also you're investing in the legends pass, the actual legends pass. You know what I mean? Uh, you're gonna get yourself that level eleven drink rune. You're gonna get yourself some of the tokens, champion tokens, gems, um, ancestral relic chest. Obviously, this is a scam. I I, I don't really believe in this one. Uh, you're definitely gonna get like uh like an obsidian unless you have a really nice slug actually hold on there's not just uh, obsidians there's also these ones yeah you're probably gonna get like a gold if i feel like but i, I hope you don't <laughs> um but anyways the main resource boost this is like one of the best obviously but anyways guys i'm gonna wrap it up for today's monster gens video hope you guys did enjoy and if you did make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here but yeah thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out